this is Just Cause 3, and I'm Kush Coffee and Games. I apologize for the late start, but it's, it's been really ridiculously fucking hot here again, and I couldn't get a, like, I could not get to sleep until about 8 p.m., and so I'm running on about five, maybe six hours of sleep, because my commentary is not up to par tonight, I apologize, but I will try to keep it as interesting and as, you know, as explosive filled as I can at this point there are limits to uh, what I have left available to do but we are gonna be taking D Ravello out tonight we are gonna be getting ourselves a Bavarium fucking nuke and then potentially we might be resuppressing some places or doing some challenges um, I do want to get some of the gear mod challenges done so that I can go and tear down a base with just a grapple hook I do want to get, uh, what else done, the, um, the air challenges so I can get more flares, the land challenges so I can get more beacons, not to mention it would be nice if I could actually soup up just like the ability to summon vehicles and shit like that. I do not have the chat in front of me just yet guys, I apologize for that, but it does take a while for YouTube to actually process the fact that I'm fucking live streaming. <laughs> Which baffles me because like you guys get it and I can't fucking get it before I like ah ah anyways it should be up very very shortly there we go what up though Dac phase gaming and Annabeth welcome back to the stream to all three of yous oh and Slavica go to the Nebio Sud airport Racers today. Oh, oh, that no, that doesn't sound very good at all. Nebio Sud Airport. I have no fucking idea where that is. Nebio Sud. Oh, this one. Wait, the fuck up here? Why? What do you want me to do up there, Slavica? I I don't really have any qualms with it. It's just a matter of what the hell you want me to do there. Because that's a long fucking ways away. But yeah, definitely got the sympathy thing going for you, Annabeth, because ouch. Ouch. probably should have gotten a jet. If I was to go up to that sud though, by the time I got there and flew back, it'd probably just be quicker to jump off here. Ooh. Pretty wall. Is this like what Trump's gonna build? Nah, it's not tall enough to be Trump's. That one might be tall enough. Like, seriously, that guy acts like he's keeping back the Huns. <laughs> oh, for what? Rebel dropping a cargo plane and then doing the... The... Dropping out with the fucking... The mech on top of it? Because we've done that one before already. We did that in the last episode where we airdropped ourselves in with a mech. Unfortunately, too, like, everything's conquered, and I don't think I have the ability to resuppress everything until I've already beat the game, so there's a pretty limited amount of options of what I can do with the cargo plane right now. I'll take your consideration, or take your, uh, your suggestion into consideration in the next piece, but yeah. As it stands, there's not a whole lot I can do with the cargo. Oh. Heli. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> Ever since oh you gotta love thing, Mario. I say someday, Mario Frigo is going to stand on top of this wall and urinate off the edge of the world. You always dreamed big, Mario. I've done it three Kinda times does. since I've been here. You should try it. If Dira Vero is onto us, 
His forces won't be I'm long probably taking a piss Shido, off of a missile. Rico, you try telling Rosa Manuela where not to go. Rico, it's too dangerous for you to be here. I am a symbol as well as a leader. You understand that? It's, it's why true. you tear down statues and rid our nation of poisonous propaganda. And what if the Ravello tears you down? We don't have statues of you. Well, actually, if, excuse me, I, I have a sculptor friend. Mario, who, take her back. I'll hold the wall. Okay, so he's not my friend friend, but he's a social media friend. <laughs> not my friend friend, but a social media friend. That's hilarious. I do wish they would have gone to the effort of changing the fucking, the, the harness color during the cutscenes. So that if you have the Bavarian wingsuit, it shows up like it's supposed to. Alright. Hey, go, we're go back ahead. at the call. How's it going? No time to talk. Hey, make sure you keep those supplies intact, Rico. The rebels need that equipment. Hey. Wow. Well, at least I have a better option for helis. Damn it. <laughs> Kinda had a sneaking suspicion I might need to pull this thing a little bit closer. I also had a sneaking suspicion that that would be a bit of a, uh, this gun would be a bit of a godsend for this part of the game. Because I remember this part of the game, and I fucking hated it. This part sucked, dick. Such a pain in the ass. I think if I remember correctly how I beat it okay. originally is I like be back soon. grab this like this here. Brace yourself, they're coming again. There we go. Now you don't actually don't hit anything on the down. fucking road. Rico, use the AA guns. Come on, you dirty bastards. Oh, that's possibly gonna end bad. I think I just got showered with his piss. Boom. What up, Del Vigo? Welcome back to the stream slash chat, bro. Yeah, no, fucking good old fucking Mario and Luigi jokes. Oh, you just about went into that tower. Bam, bam, bam. Wait, are they? No, they're not sending in Bavarium yet. That would not be fair. Oh shit. Oh, I saw that one coming. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. I thought I was going in that fucking pit. Enemy jets approaching your location. Like, damn. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. You shall not pass. I almost want to just like steal one of those. It's almost our best option. What up, though, Exodus? Welcome back to the stream slash chat, bro. Come on, guys. Turn around and fly at me. 
Come at me, bitches! Um, to be fair, Annabeth, Exodus actually was here about a week ago, so... But yes, we've got newbies to the channel. Isn't it wonderful? There we go. Oh! Oh, shit! You do gotta love how, like, you can fuck shit up. Come on. Fuckers out of range. Yeah, most of them are newbies, though, and I definitely appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys coming back to the stream and enjoying the content and having fun in the chat. Come on. Oh! Out. Damn it. Fuckers. Damn it. Yeah, there's one. I should probably take these guys out, though. Oh, roasted. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get back in! Get back in! Fuck the jet! Oh, fuck sakes. Oh, wait. Do you know? Ah, he's taking half him. Damn it. This was a diversion. Ah, I mean, I guess he does have, like, vital intel. We probably can't leave him. Get to the top of the wall. You'll see it coming. I'm kind of at the top of the wall already. Like, I've got that part. Let's go. All right, Rico. Uh, it's just you and me now. Oh, God. Oh, he's flying? Oh, this is... This is more terrifying than go up, going up against a Bavarium nuke. Come on, let me drive then, sir. God damn loading screens. Get the trader, Rico. The rebels will hold the wall. I'm sorry, Rico, for letting Zeno escape. Spilled milk, Dima. I'll take care of Zeno. Damn it. Let me go. Damn it. I never wanted this to happen. Bavarium had great potential for novel new uses All in right. chemistry, night lights, and magnetic mm. bracelets. Bavarian geodes were sure to sell to tourists. What would happen if you drop salt and licorice in liquefied Bavarium? You had your chance, old man. You blew it. Uh huh. You're being a scumbag, son of a bitch. Can't be selling secrets. Especially not to D Ravioli. Oh, you durable bastard. Die. Zeno's been taken care of. Oh yeah, no, he's toast. He is fucking roasted. A lot of people here at the cove didn't make it. Yes. What up, though, upstate hitman? Welcome to the stream yes, slash chat, bro. Both of these plan. guns are part of the DLC, as is the Bavarium jetpack uh, wingsuit thing. So, you do need the DLC, but I will say if you're on PlayStation, at least last time I checked, it was 60% off just for the season, well, for the season pass or any of the DLC, so. It's, uh, it's definitely the worth diamond. getting. The DLC does change the way the Scout game plays the pretty the drastically. Come see me. Yes! The last of DiRavello's Central Command Strongholds. We will take it down, we will get hard Bavarium Nuke, and we will fuck shit up. 
Yeah, no, it's definitely worth it, dude. I mean, the Bavarian wingsuit alone just is hugely, hugely beneficial to you. Just being able to jetpack around and, yeah, huge. Fucking huge. Having machine guns and missiles attached to the back is even better. And then, yeah, the Eden Spark is basically having the Wrath of Thor. Just wherever the fuck you want it. The mech is certainly fun as well. You do get a mech for the mech part of the things, but uh, it's a little bit more specialized. It's good for taking out a base. It's not particularly good for travel. Hmm. Hmm. I'm calling 47 to come save me. Rebel drop a U7 cargo plane and go to... You, like, you said that before, but you gotta give me a reason to go all the way up here and drop this cargo plane. What are we doing with the cargo plane? What is the purpose of going up here and doing the cargo plane? Like, I'll fast travel up here, but you gotta give me a little bit more here. Because if it's just, hey, can you put a, a mech on a cargo plane? We literally did that in the last episode. <laughs> Revolta! Just the most ridiculous name for a robot ever. All things considered, we have it captured. They might even have one just kind of stationed here. Whee! This is also one of the islands that you get for having the DLC. Uh, wait, what? That's no bueno. It appears to be a oh, that was pretty fucking sweet. I've never actually, like, decapitated one of the antenna things before. Why is this, like, hostile but not hostile? What the fuck? I'm so confuzzled. I've taken over everything on the island. But apparently I haven't. And it doesn't count. And, like, I'm so confused. Transferred a Bavarium tank to the Magistrate Airport Volo Martino. But the problem is, is I, like, I can't do anything but transport the plane. Like, I can't resuppress any areas until the game is done. So even if I bring it to a base, I've already conquered everything. It's not gonna allow me to do very much, unless you want me to, like, stash it there for the last mission. Volo Martino. Let's see. Where is it? Volo, Volo, Capite Moso, Petra Cauda Trio, Lavanda, Lacos. Nothing says Martino though. Valdemar. Yeah, no idea where Volo Martino is supposed to be. It goes by Astera, Lavenda, Phenoplagia, and Mistrail. Which I would have to, I guess, that one? I don't think I can actually steal this one, though. It was really dumb, but I was trying to steal these planes before and it wouldn't fucking let me. Ah, for fuck's sakes, of course. Alright, Spider-Man it up here. Yeah, no, it won't let ya. Dumb. So fucking dumb. It totally should. 
Same with all those helicopters. Why have them in the hangar if you're not gonna let me steal them? Silly. Mm, yeah, I guess the SAM sites might not be a terrible idea. I like to just blow them up, though. Fuck the SAM sites. But I guess if I hack them, I don't have to worry about them again for a while. Alright. Too low. It's like the fucking limbo, bitch. You're saying can't reach me. Trains and automobiles. Patacoster. Patacoster. Alright. Poof. Every time. Doesn't matter what I do. Tanks. And Bavarium. There. This thing's gonna get. need to be uh, straightened out, anyways. I know there's a way that you can get shit into the cargo hold. I just don't know how to open this bitch up. What up, though, uh, Elapel? Welcome to the stream slash chat, bro. Are a hacker? For what? Summoning things? That's just rebel drops. Ah, okay. Fair enough. I was uh, concerned that I might have to go into the actual cargo bay to do it. I also have a funny feeling that unless, yeah, unless we land it specifically, it's not going to go very well. Oh, ow, oh, ow. There we go. <laughs> nice. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Surprised we don't hear that tank just bouncing around. There we go. I felt it bounce a little bit. Let's go see what the fuck's over here. This is gonna be an interesting challenge, because this airport is quite a bit smaller, if I remember correctly. And it's foggy, which means I will see the airport at a much shittier distance. At least the moon is pretty. <laughs> yeah, actually, Just Cause 2 was a really good game. I kind of miss that game. The only thing I really disliked about it, but I also kind of liked about it, is there was, like, more bases to conquer, but it didn't really have as much of an impact on your game. Like, you could do not even a quarter of the fucking... of the challenges and, like, the things to blow up, and you could finish the fucking game, which left you with much less reason to finish it. And be like, holy fuck, the places were so scattered about. 
some places you'd go to, they'd only have two or three things to blow up, but there would be like 16 fucking places scattered around it like that. And it was, it was fucking tedious to do that. Rest of it wasn't bad, though. Storyline was a lot better. Taking down the three different heads of the fucking things and shit, like, it was a really well-played-out storyline. Coming in for the final approach. Oh, 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 oh. No, drop, 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 drop. I'm just trying to do it, like, legit by pulling the ass end up, but apparently it doesn't like that. Oh, brakes! 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 So close. Oh, and that was kind of a good thing that we <laughs> didn't stick around there too much. Uh, L1 to open up the cargo bay. May as well get back up on. Wait, does it have guns? It does not have guns. There we go. Challenge completed. And all in all, it could have gone a lot worse. Oh, I guess it's, like, allied now. I always feel bad. The Duravello jet? Which one? Because it does, uh, have a couple. Yeah, I'm not seeing no D-Ravello jet. Unless they're like, stashed inside somewhere. Nope. No D-Ravello jet, bro. Come on. Nada. Nada. Nothing in the hangars in this place. What up, though, Herja Her? Welcome back to the stream slash chat, bro. But yeah. I'm gonna go back to doing the story. I want my fucking Bavarium nuke. The look on Rico's face. What up, though, Softy Snaily? Welcome to the stream slash chat, bro. How's your day going? Kaboom. Fuck those drones. The good old parachute colors. Die, Ravioli. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, uh, I need to remark my waypoint so that it's not telling me that I need to go 11 fucking kilometers because that's a little ridiculous. No worries, bro. No worries. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't do shoutouts, man. You're not getting me, Tia. Oh, I'll get you. Uh -oh. oh. You 
gotta practice. Like, that's such, like, a childish version of the game. Like, seriously, those guys would be, like, ripping fucking shit off hands. Tonight we win. No winning when Bavarian research facility remains. So we blow it up. If I can access central control panel, can use FOW to destroy tower. Petabytes of Bavarian research gone. I will need diversion to ensure enough time to hack systems. We'll do it I can do diversions. Rico, a moment. Rico, this revolution owes you a great deal. It owes many of us a great deal. It does owe many of us, but it you does owe us, people. like, seriously. After this is all over, the people will still need you. Chaos and destruction tear down nations, Rico. That's what I'm good at, though. Of the people that builds them. Yeah, but we all have a job to play. Yeah, exactly. Right now, we're going to set Bavarium research back half a century. At the very least. Perhaps I was rash. Bavarium would be a great boon. Oh my god, this shit. No, Bavarium is too dangerous. Everything. Shady bitch. Of course you're right. Gather your forces. It's time. Let's go! She's shysty. She's like, she is not good shysty. Bad shysty. But yeah, no, I definitely don't do shout shoutouts. Sorry, softy. So, uh, yeah. One day maybe, but not right now. And no worries, Slav. Uh... Glad that I got you your first cargo plane video. <laughs> to be fair, like, it's really strange, because I'm bad in terms of jet combat. Like, I can do it, but I generally suck. But when it comes to just, like, flying a plane and landing a plane, I'm actually pretty goddamn good. You almost ragged all them worse with the machine gun on this thing than you do with the auto cannon on the main mech. So the troops can advance safely. Nothing can stop the revolution. That's it. There we go. We made it. More snipers. Take them out, Rico. Wait, where? Where? Where are these more? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Reach the battlefield is like a click and a half away. I'm like sitting here, like where? Where? Maybe he just deals with everybody. Now, see, like, that's just it, though. Like, Rico is not about that life. Rico is not about the politics and, and the bullshit. Rico is a, a... He's an agent of chaos. He is death destroyer of worlds. You don't put somebody like that in charge of people. You let them do their job, and then you let the, you let the people who, you know, are there to do the job of the will of the people thing take over. Definitely a bad idea to have this guy into politics. Advico? They have too many armored units. Rico, if you can have them, <laughs> can fly to be air. fair, that is true. Well, uh, yeah, no, I will be using the Bavarium nuke, though. I mean, don't get me wrong, Eden spam is fantastic, but I love the way the nuke looks. Ah! Just the most vicious strafing run in history. This thing doesn't even care that I'm sitting here. Come here. Oh, that wasn't what I was intending to do. I still wanted this to be out. I don't know if that's enough to push a tank around, but... Definitely a good one to hack. Come on, you can do it. There's like two tanks here versus one. You should have this shit. I shouldn't even need to participate. There, I participated.
Wait, what's that buzzing? Boom! Like, <laughs> oh, I know how powerful it is. I just supremely enjoy fucking around with the Bavarium nuke. It's awesome. Reach the Rebel encampment, huh? All right. Oh, where the fuck did that come from? Honestly, we kind of need to deal with that first. There it is. Oh, 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 I can't even imagine how bad that would have actually hurt. Like, damn. All right. Back to battle. Couple of jackasses with some weapons, not a big deal. Couple of Sam sites, kind of a big deal. Hey, look, we're going through the GTA wind farm. Say hi to the prison. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hell no. You don't get to paradrop people and get away with it. That's what the fuck is up. I was in that prison. Actually, I've heard that of all the heists, the prison break heist is actually probably the funnest and most entertaining in GTA 5, and it's definitely, like I said, when I do get GTA, I need to get fucking, um, I need to get the, uh, the heist shit going. Because I never got to play that originally, and I totally want to one day. That and the first person fucking playthrough. Prison break is really bad and hard. Hmm. Adversary and rocket versus insurgents is the best. <laughs> that's well, that's one way to destroy a cargo plane. Well, fair enough. I might enjoy the challenge of it though. See, the other thing that I'll have to do though is I have to create a new account because my old account is unimportable due to the fact that I did do some money glitches and shit like that back when I was on the 360, so they're, like, my, my account just doesn't even fucking work for GTA Online, it tells me that I can't import it, and blah blah blah, um, so I'll have to re-level my character up and shit, get his combat level back up, his fighting, his fucking stamina, his underwater breath, all that stupid shit. You and many others, Annabeth. That's why it's such a pain in the ass for me to borrow the game from somebody. Nobody is willing to part with it for a while. Because they all still fucking play it. Which I don't really blame them for. I totally understand, but son of a bitch. Guy can wish. How much longer? Uncertain. Having trouble creating automated firing systems. We'll have to target manually. What? What do you mean manually? Remain to ensure tower destruction. Forget it, Dima. You're not staying. 
Find another way to destroy. Uh, then you ride another missile. No, this is the only way. You know this to be true. Dima, what, and you ride sure another... Why not? Knowledge. All knowledge. We have lived a very long life. One with many mistakes and many triumphs. Just trust me. It's okay. Oh, that would, like... Oh, ho, ho. Oh, oh, that would have hurt. Poor Dima. An 07 to you, Dima. Nice. I know a couple of people at the CEO office already. Yep. Rest in peace, lady. She was an awesome scientist. I'm gonna miss her. Especially considering, like, I would have loved to have seen her in Just Cause 3. Or, sorry, not 3, 4. <laughs> As I've also said, though, I kind of want it to be, um... I want us to go after the Eden Corporation in Just Cause 4. Just because they have, like, really cool tech. And having Dima to reverse engineer all of that would have been got. awesome. Uh, 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 uh. Rico, we, we won! We, we beat him, Rico! Not fully Mario, yet. I mean, we beat the last Dima FOV or FOW, but we haven't... Tower. What? Is she... She's gone, um, Mario. Wait, what? The fuck is happening over Dima. here? Where are you, Mario? Rosa Manuela, she's giving a speech. We're all here. Um, we're getting some Final Fantasy X shit going on over here. What the fuck? I think Luke saved her. I don't think so. That was a pretty quick amount of time after. But, uh, yeah, that's not legit. Hey, at least now it's going away. Still very not legit. You can still see the outline of the tower. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. The remnants of the tower. No, I was gonna say, there is at least one more mission. We may as well fast travel, though, over to, like, here. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna fast travel over to here, and I'm gonna get this thing, because I would like more fucking... This game as a whole is not legit. No, definitely not legit. Definitely not. The fact that you can fly face first into the ground, bounce, and just shrug it off like nothing happened is just... Ugh. Legend says that Dima curses whoever passes it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, but yeah, we may as well do this challenge and get our flares up. Gives us something to do in the in-between before we actually go after him and blow his ass up with his own nukes. I will, but there's no point in rebel dropping it right this second. We can we can get through that without this right now. Um, Golden Urga and Urga Minstrel. I never did go grab a news chopper, but they're really not that fantastic, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, no, the Dravik is the slower one. It's the Thunderhawk we want. This is probably not going to be fair, considering what it was recommending us use. It might also not go very well, just in the sense that it might want, like, sharp turns and shit. <laughs> yeah, Rico is a true badass. Hands down, Rico's a badass. Three out of twenty-one. Steam is a bit of a badass. All of her knowledge makes Dima a badass. Rico's a badass because he blows everything that he doesn't like into a million pieces. And the fact that he basically takes no prisoners. Just 
just a second here, guys. While I'm doing this, I'm not going to pay too much attention to the chat just so I can get through this in a reasonable amount of time without fucking up. So if you fuck up in a jet during an air course, you are a lot more fucked. It's only, what, five more, though? Woo! Fuck you, trees. Fuck, this is intense! Whew. And Mario? Mario! Mario I laugh at and I love the fact that they made him Mario because he basically ended up becoming Luigi as soon as we came into the scene. Don't crash into a light pole. I was much more worried about a fucking Tarzan-style tree. Watch out for that blap! I'm glad you like it, bro. Glad you like it. Bam! New mod to unlock. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. We still had something in here that I didn't do? Oh, son of a bitch. Of course I wouldn't. Ugh. Land vehicle restock. That's fucking good times. <laughs> On the bright side, the next thing we get to is the air vehicle restock speed, which I think cuts it in half, right? Yeah, half the time, instant restock. So, I mean, not like we're going to be doing a whole fuck of a lot left in this game, but I do intend to do, like, a secrets and, and Easter eggs fucking episode. I know they've already been done, but I want to experience a lot of them for myself. But, now we can go kind of into the area of where this last mission is, and then we can drop our Bavarian nuke and fuck some shit up. And then, we also have the ability to resuppress some shit and blow shit up that way. Goodbye, like, five million dollars worth of equipment. <laughs> and... There we go. Alright. Uh, I'm actually gonna get it on the road so it doesn't just fucking slip away from me. Bam! Alright. Are you... Wait. Wait. That's like a fancy moped. Hilarious! I didn't even realize there was a second type. I was like, we grabbed that in the first mission. What the fuck is going on? No, apparently not. Fire leech. Oh, yeah. That one. I know what that one is. M488. Don't need a vehicle. Emergency, Rico. We detected a military vehicle nearby transporting captured rebels. Please uh, free them. We could actually do this that. Looks deadly. Yeah. Threat level reduced. You got them? Lose the heat so the rebels will be able to escape safely. Reports safe. of violence in the area. All units converge. Peace, guys. Sending additional ground forces to your location immediately. It's just like GTA. Run to the hills. Hey, uh, come on, 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 come on. Group support inbound. Hang in there, ground team. The Reaper missile, Mac. Reapers. Yeah, it's it's low grade. I would much rather use the auto cannon if I'm gonna take him out with the Mac. But I'm gonna take him out with his own nuke. I want to see. I want to see like. The ravioli on the ground just cooked perfectly. Like, seriously, guys? 
You're actually following me up here, huh? All right, all right. Well, give me two seconds, and I will uh, alleviate some of this bullshit. Are you serious? Well, we can blow up the vehicle. Ouch. That wasn't what I actually wanted to do. Get in. Get in. Get in it. There we go. Now we can just drive away. Like, <laughs> he's out of the vehicle. The vehicle's been blown up and disabled. We got this. We got this. I'm kind of hoping that this is another priest. Because the priests are fucking hilarious. The fact that you can... Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, truck. You can live. You can live. You can do... Oh, what? Innocent hurt? Why? All right, I can't even, like, dispute that one. Like, I know the game's not legit, but if you were inside this thing when that just happened, you would not be feeling okay. Shit. Shit would not be in the same spot, and you would have been rattled like a motherfucker. Oh, well. Mistakes were made. Rebels are squishy. That's what we've learned. Oh, isn't that nice? We had to sit in like a pantheon thing. The son of Medici. Blah, 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 blah. All that work. Well, all that driving up a hill. In vain. From the ashes of Diravello's beloved flames, Medici will rise like the phoenix. The rise. With you. Drink in your victory, Medicians, for today, the war is over. Chico, for Dima, for all of Medici, Diravello is still out there. We have to find him and end him. Hey, why aren't you celebrating? A lot of good people died, Annika. We got word that an advanced military chopper left the CENTCOM tower before it collapsed. Of Where course. is it now? My sources say it flew into the volcano, and no one has seen it come back out. We can't let him escape. We're with you, Rico. Let's get him, Rico, for Dima. Meet me at the volcano. Be careful. Di Ravello won't go down easily. We're coming for you, you bastard. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, you gotta love it. This is where shit gets real for Di Ravello. My sources say... My sauces say, ha <laughs> ha Definitely not with the Reaper, bro. Definitely not with the Reaper. Like I said, it'll be with the fucking Bavarium nuke. More than likely. And if it was gonna be a different mech, it'd be, like if it was gonna be a mech, it'd be the auto cannon because the Reaper kind of sucks. Oh, come on! Push, 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 push. Wait, where's my fucking NOS in this thing? What? Also, how the fuck? When the fuck? Oh, Rico, I've been Did it always have the little spotlight we'll on the bottom? When we're done with the revolution and we have freedom and everything, what's next? What do you mean, what's know. next? I hadn't really thought about it. I go blow more shit up. We set everybody well, up. We tell them that they um, they need to okay. act like evil what people, and I blow them up again. going into business, you know? Turn some of my garages into dealerships and become a salesman, eh? Dealership. <laughs> the f, -f, -f really? Ford dealership? Yeah, yeah, you want to be my partner, eh? Frigo and etc. Dealers Free go and etc. <laughs> Our sales are revolutionary. Yeah, our prices are pure insanity! <laughs> Sit by a beach and drink alone, yeah. Uh, yeah no yeah, doubt. Yeah, don't listen to her. Rico, we have got to do this. Okay, we'll see. No, no, no. Well, maybe we start small, eh? First, you come stay at my grandmother's, like when we were kids. And then we can put some time in, eh? Finish the car. We'll see I was actually thinking the car thing would probably be something gone, that the they would want to do. I'm going to do is have a drink on a quiet beach. Alone. Hey, shoot yourself, Fratre. But 
Iravelus chopper is Bavarium shielded. It would be. Bavarium shields aren't going to stop me. This is no, they fatty. really, really aren't. Kick his ass. Get in there, Rico. Kick its ass. No, He'll blow his up. ass up. That's what's going to happen. Come on. Let me fight this motherfucker. Thank you. Beacons. Because you just never know when you might need some. Dive, 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 dive! I would not be getting that close to lava, magma. Um, actually, I'm not sure if it would be considered lava if it's just in the fucking mouth of the volcano. I think it's still lava because it's not in the center. <laughs> Math. Math 07. Look, it even says right on the tip of his helicopter that he's a motherfucker. Goddamn maths. Maps and thwabs, man. Thwab goblins, I'm telling you. Bring him down! We're all with you, Rico. Wait for the field to come down! Ah, it went up just as it fucking occurred. Ow. Just have to stay behind you, dude. <laughs> Not now rocket. Science. Oh! Holy fuck! Oh yeah, no, that didn't work out so well at all. I was sincerely thinking that the fucking Bavarium nuke was gonna do more damage than that. I thought like, half damage or something with the Bavarium nuke. Nope, not a fucking chance. Like, holy shit. Hide behind rocks. I think I'm just gonna get in the air. Fucking stay above him. Pretty hard to hit me with a missile when I'm moving still. And then just hit him with the parachute. You cannot run my uh, you kind of don't know that. The shield is down, Rico. Found you. Wait for Damn it. the shield to come down. I kinda wish I had that fucking power core thing. It disables Bavarium shit. I'm kinda curious if that actually would have an effect. I don't even know if I could use the Reaper missile here or, like, or the mechs here and not have it end poorly. Stop hiding. Fuck sakes. Wait. Could I not potentially just steal this fucking thing? Are you fucking kidding me? Bavarian missile is good, but not against what I'm doing here. Power core might be a good idea to fuck around with. Ah. Now we go. It has a shield. Yeah, it's just the power core before when when I was playing in the like. DLC for it and shit like that, the mech DLC. There was like Bavarium shielded shit, and you could take it out with that. The power core was how you did that. Boom! Fuck your day, sir. Let's see you 
Watch this. Oh, you son of a bitch. Like, seriously. Use the fire leech. I don't have the fire leech. I would, like, yeah. No fire leech me uh, mech. I didn't buy that. I just have the Bavarium Splitter, Reaper, and Auto Cannon. Oh, on its right arm features a devastating fire leech. What, the missiles? Fuck that noise. I'll shoot him with real cannons then. I don't want it to be that easy. Come on. Drop your shields. I also want to see just how much damage this will do. Like Fuck yeah, that actually did a lot of damage. Yeah, I got guns too, bitch. What about them? What about them? Woo! Fuck that noise. I don't want to use the mech. Like I said, I don't want it to be that easy. The shield is down, Rico. Or just use Kush. I feel like D. Ravello's an unreasonable enough man that even Kush isn't gonna solve that fucking problem. I also have a sneaking suspicion, considering I hit him three times, but did the same amount of damage as when I hit him once, you have a maximum, oh, damage potential that you can hit him with when his shield comes down. Ah, oh, you dirty bitch. Even if I was to use the auto cannon. Yeah. Why is he laughing? Kush solves everything. I kill Kush for a living. Oh, that would make you a cop. Ow. Shit. Oh, oh, what the, I don't know what the, did it, no, no, that was too good. I dropped the fucking rebel drop on him. It hit him. That was perfect. If only I could have got up in time. Damn it. That was so good. I can't believe that actually nailed the fucking plane like that. Holy shit. The rebel drop that I called in for the fucking... The, the mech landed on top of his plane and fucked him up, but he could still hit me. It was bullshit. On, that was good, that though. Like, that fucked his day up. Oh, well, it's only 16 seconds. I don't know if I could just nail him like that again. That was fucking tricky. Oh, wait, we can... Ah, for fuck's sake. It's the second time now. Bugs me, because it's like, it gives you enough time. It totally does. But, by like a fraction of a second, it gives you enough time to actually do that shit. Where are you? The calm. Oh, there we go. I was like, what the fuck? telling you guys fire leech is not that good that was way quicker just pop 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 auto cannon way more damage you will not destroy me Rico <laughs> right I do not burn I do not die 
<laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> I almost think if you didn't get the Rats fucking peacemakers by this point in the game, you should have got them just I from him. My reign. You throw a nation into chaos. Will fall without me. Oh, that changed the tone. Father, you should know this. With what your time shelter, who made all the deals that forced me into power, that made you an orphan. I don't know what you have left to beg with, but... I'm gonna let him have a moment of realization of his actions before I shoot him. I want him to seriously think about how bad he fucked up. Also, I kinda wanted to taste his tears. I just kinda wanna like grab his face and lick his tears off his face like Scott Tennerman. Well, I guess like Cartman off of Scott Tennerman's face. Oh yeah, there was no way I was going to let him live. I just didn't want him to die that quick. If anything, shoot him in the leg and watch him roast in the fire. Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of like sat there and he like looks down and... Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Take that ravioli fuck. <laughs> Oh, yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, that's great. All right, so now we've got challenges and various ideas that you guys might have that could flavor up the game a little bit. Also, I would like to try, well, first, two challenges that I need to get done, and that's the tether challenges. Maybe, maybe three, not sure. But I want to be able to rip a base apart just with the grapple hook, and then we're going to... We're going to pick a medium-sized base, not a ridiculous base, but like a relatively reasonable base, and I'm going to tear it apart. Uh, relive the revolution by returning any settlement to its opposed state. Just select the reoppress option from the settlement's map icon. Alrighty. Definitely continue. The Ministry of Illumination and Stability would like to address some rumors that have been floating around about the death of our beloved general. The government's official stance is that if there is no body, there is no problem. No. <laughs> general Di Ravello must be taking some much deserved me time. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Viva <laughs> la general. If there is a general. <laughs> A boat on one wing and a heavy car on the other wing and then try to fly it without them falling. Well, that's definitely a challenge. Holy, wait, what? No, I thought, what? So this is where we were always at? I was like so fucking convinced for the longest, even to like this day I was convinced that fucking Boom Island was down here and you sat here and you watched either this or this go kaboom there's not even like oil refineries over here that you could watch go kabang well, maybe this one maybe that nah that might be right never mind that might be the right fucking setup there i don't know but yeah not opposed to that not opposed to it at all but first as i said we do need to do a couple of challenges and specifically we need to do the tether challenges if I could filter for that, that'd be fucking wicked, but I don't think I can. Uh, just challenge, yeah. Just do that for now. Where are my tethering grapple champ? There's one. 
fast travel over to here. The beta, I think. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I ate that ass. <laughs> Fried him up. Served him to Chef Boy RD. That fat fuck supplied the human race with enough ravioli to last 600 years. That's what you get in a can. D-ravioli. Now... That picture made about as much sense as me going in with the Eden Spark. Why the fuck did you have a mortar gun on your back when you went in there? That just is like, what? Oh, one of these ones. Well, that's fucking cool. <laughs> the Incendario monster truck. Uh, da -da -da nope. We would like a military vehicle. But I mean, I may as well go for the weaponized Urga Orga. Ogar. Whatever. These are, like, definitely not the hardest challenges in the fucking world. <laughs> They're fun, though. And they can be a little bit challenging. So. I was gonna say, where's my car? That should be close enough. Oh, that's too close. Oh, never mind. Apparently it's got its own little... How do I turn it on again? Oh, not that one. Not that one. How do I turn it on again? How does it not tell me? Oh, there we go. Oh god. Yep, no, we're gonna we're just gonna restart this one. <laughs> I already fucked up with the tether, and I kinda knew that. And then it wanted to like back up well, yeah, fuck it. We'll just reset it. We'll do this right. Yeah, it is L1. For anybody doing this now, it's L1. Twenty-one pilots challenge, you get ten citizens and use the grapple thing to strap ten civilians on a cargo plane and then fly really high. Well, to be fair, until I, like, I can't do that until I actually get the tethering upgraded. I only have the ability to tether two things right now. And I think it actually caps out that, like, it's four or eight tethers, so I don't know how you would get tw uh, ten citizens strapped to anything. Nice title? What's the title? I missed the title. Ah, yeah, there you go. I knew there was a limit. I didn't know what the limit was, but I knew there was a limit. <laughs> ah, fair enough. Oh, 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 come on. I still need to be able to move, guys. Fucking rocks. It's actually, like, it's cool that shit's a little bit more magnetic. Like, the actual mechanical shit, metal shit, is actually being a little bit magnetic now. Originally, when I played this, it was not like that at all. Are you fucking kidding me, you dickbag? It is. Oh my god. I'm glad this shit's weaponized. Back it up. Yeah. Let's fucking go then. You want to play that way, motherfucker? Oh, hello. Holy shit. Come on. Come on, 
giant pile of stuff. Hitting me. I actually don't remember doing this challenge. I've done quite a few like this, but I don't remember this one in particular. Come on. There we go. There we go. Gather as much as we possibly can. It's been a long time since I've actually played these ones. Come on. Come on. Do it. Oh no, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no. Of course. Come on. Four. Shit. Well, I mean, we still unlocked it. Two times, two times tether strength. We'll back out of it for now. Let's see. Gear mods, tethers. I don't even remember how many exactly I need. Out of 20, and I only need 15, so. I can technically get four on all five of the challenges. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, or four of the challenges, sorry. So. Let's jump again somewhere else. Use the helium gun on four people and strap them to a car and put rocket bombs on when they go high in the air. Use the rockets to detach the tethers. The helium gun. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's another challenge that's made up. Ooh, Wario. That is a terrible video game character choice. Oof. 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 Was it Mario? Did you go Princess Peach on us? Oh, we still need to find the other tether challenge. That's right. Um, give me... Give me a tether challenge over here somewhere. Almost positive there's one over here as well. Yep. Oh, yeah, I never actually found all the Easter eggs. I found, like, the pogo stick and a couple other things, but I never found no helium gun. That's going to be really interesting to figure out. It makes people's heads into balloons. What? The fuck? Big smoke. <laughs> Stockpile scramble. Scrapyard scramble, never mind. There we go. <laughs> Basically DK mode. Are you... Are you having sex with Sephiroth? Sephiroth? Is that what it was? Actually, that's... That's, like, possibly even before your time. 
Good old Final Fantasy VII. I mean, it's it's a classic, but it's a classic. I think this is even the tank thing too. Actually, kind of. Oh, never mind. It didn't work out as well as I was hoping. Like that's actually gonna do pretty goddamn good, just because it's gonna sweep over and grab all that shit, but not quite magnetic enough for that shit. Come on. Honestly, this is the one I'm probably the most familiar with. Come on. Aha! Fuck you, bud. Flip your own shit. I mean, I may as well just kind of go for the high score thing, because why not, but... Yeah. I figured we'd get five on this one. I've done this one before. I actually know, like, where a large part of the shit is, and... Yeah. I have a bit of an advantage on this one for not being blind at all. I even went slow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, big ball of stuff. Luigi gives me the death stare. <laughs> the streets is cold. <laughs> The streets are kinda cold, man. Shit gets fucking real in the streets. Should be a Oh, come on, come on. You can do it. Take it with you. Yeah, there you go. That should get me even more fucking time. Oh shit. So ridiculous. This one's way easier to get just like a retarded fucking score in. Oh, dickhead! Dickhead! Two, one, good times. <laughs> right at the perfect time. Like, I blew up right as it ended. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta scroll up here and, and see what the conversation has turned into about this. I gotta see some of your guys' guesses on this one. Banjo, coordinates on the map. Okay. 
What up, Dota? Real deal. Welcome back to the stream slash chat, bro. Thanks for the compliment. Number six with an extra dip. Number seven to number 45. <laughs> The very reminds me of rabbits, turds following you. <laughs> Is my city then? Hell no, it's every day, bro. Garfield the cat. If it wasn't for me, America would be shitty. Wow, 14 year old boy stabbed his brother for not buying him tobacco. Yep, no, that definitely sounds like America. What up, Docardo? Welcome to the stream slash chat, bro, and as well as you, a constant challenge. Uh, good luck getting one of the, getting the one at the construction site. Give me another character. <laughs> uh, let's see, if we're going not disgusting characters, I could see you trying to get Joel from, uh, The Last of Us. What the fuck? Damn. <laughs> Like, nothing left. That's great. Alright. Two more tether challenges. And then we'll be able to tear down one of these bases just with the tether. That's gonna be really fun. Probably a lot more fun than it should be. Tether. Fast travel. Well, I mean, I know women like older men. It's kind of a common thread. Uh, well, technically, Levi is a video game character now. I vote Levi, then. Or is that who you hope, or like, who you wish you were having sex with? Can I say I like my weaponized Urga Orga? Urga. Urga Ogar. Fuck, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Alright. Attach to asshole. Definitely better to try and get it in the middle, but whatever. Not the end of the world. This one, if I remember correctly, does kind of suck, actually. There's a lot of shit all over the fucking place. There's not really, like, nice big clumps of fucking stuff. Oh, never mind. There's not a half bad idea. We just gotta get you nice and close to it. Or take it out. Fuck yeah, that'll work. Well, maybe not, because I'm bringing a whole lot of metal with me, unfortunately, but... Actually, I have an idea. I'm going to reset this challenge. I'm going to drive through that with the magnet off, and then I'm going to recollect all the fucking... All the, uh, all the materials that fall off of that thing. Because that's all high-quality Bavarium, which is worth, like, double. It'll fucking pound away at our fucking level, but at the same point in time... Step away, Aaron and Hanji. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan Drake. Oh, from, um... Uncharted... Gotcha. Patrick the Starfish. Hey, hey, Starfish are badass, alright? Like, don't, not even Patrick, not even Patrick. Just, like, Starfish are fucking crazy badass in general. How to have sex with lines of code. You wrap it around your dick. Well, I appreciate you signing up, bro. I hope to definitely see you in more live streams, and I appreciate the compliments. There we go. Damn. I, I noticed it wasn't turning on. I was like, wait, does it not turn on until you actually activate the magnet? No, it just has to be. It's like a... Um, uh, come on. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That 
was a lot of fucking Bavarium right there, too. That was nice. That was nice. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Totally not what I wanted to happen there. Alright. Um, well... Damn, this one's like full too. Like, holy fuck. We got lots of stuff in here we can grab. Oh, oh, explosive. No, no, don't grab the explosives. Damn it. Oh, you gotta love that magnet. Come on, come on. Get over it. Are you fucking seriously, man? Fuck you guys. Your, your fascist dictator is gone. Leave me alone. Just a giant amount of metal behind me. Oh, oh no! Fuck you, bud! Fuck you! Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go. If uh, watching monster trucks has taught me one thing, it's how to flip over a car that's landed on its side. Seriously, dude, you are gonna blow up doing that, and you are gonna scatter all of my shit to the wind, and I am gonna be in fury. Shit! Ah, I wasn't paying enough attention to the time. Fuck! Me and my friends were joking around who would marry a celebrity. I'd go for Cameroon. <laughs> Three times tether unlocked. Um, I mean... It was a four, but we could easily get a five. Like, I have no qualms. I, like, I have no doubts that I could get a five. Max D for the win. <laughs> That's when you take that bitch to the closet. Come on. Load me up, sir. You do really want to center that fucking... That thing on your car. Because I've done it... A, like, I've done this quite a few times. Just in general. And, like... Man, you don't center the shit on your car. You regret it. You're constantly being pulled to the left or to the right. Like, holy fuck. It's not fun. Go down here first. Oh, 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 shit, shit. Woo! Thank you. Come on. Fuck the camera. Like, let me fucking look down so I can see where I'm going. Oh no! Does anybody else see the explosive barrels down there? This is potentially going to end very, very, very terribly. No! Fuck you.
least we have another minute now. Come on. And we're already at tier 3. may as well just fuck with these guys now. I'm not gonna go for any high scores or anything like that, like really. Meh. I live in uh, Canada there, constant challenge. Sorry, when I'm in the middle of like actually doing a challenge like this, it's, it's very, very difficult to actually focus on the chat and what's going on in the game, so I apologize for that, but yeah. Alright, gear mod. Oh shit, I think we might actually... No, never mind, it is 14 of 20, so we only have one more gear challenge, and pretty much no matter what we do on it, we're gonna succeed, so... That's fucking wicked, and then as soon as that is done, we're gonna resuppress a base and rip it apart just with the grapple. Hopefully. That's the plan, and I'm sticking to it. I just need to find that last fucking tether challenge. Is it this one? It is this one. Maybe you just need to dick her down. You know. Who? I missed that one. There be no warning. I'll just go at you in the middle of the night. Then I said, girl, are you planning to rape me? That, I mean, to be fair, that's definitely not the, uh, the first time I've heard of a chick raping a dude. So, I mean, basically, if this chick is, like, 450 pounds, better start bench pressing, man. Better start bench pressing. Yes, yes. The camera is probably the worst part in vehicles and shit like that for this game. There's a lot of it that's not too bad. That's one of those things that sucks. And yeah, no worries, constant challenge. If you're curious as well, it is 4.33 in the morning for me. Alright, um... Oh, I was gonna say, where is it? Why does it always start you facing away from what you're actually supposed to be doing? The logic. Good enough. Oh, that's totally off, but whatever. This one's gonna be rather interesting because it's like so wide open. But. There we go. That's a good fucking. good grip of stuff. Come on. 
Grab it all. Grab it all. Let's go. Damn. Good first call. Oh, okay. Apparently cords go through some solid objects and not others. Because logic. I'm taking him out. Fuck off. Alright. Fuck you guys. Say. I've also learned that, like, one of the best things to do against those guys is to, like, slow down enough that they actually get out of their vehicle and start shooting at you, and then just drive away. Oh, you cock-sucking whore! You had to hit the barrels. You had to fucking hit me into the barrels. I mean, I was going for it anyways, technically, but... Ah! Oh, ah! You're a cunt bag, son of a bitch. Fuck you, AI. Fuck you. Oh, that's a restart. Fuck. Yeah, you're not the only one on the West Coast. But in Finland... Uh, Finland's pretty bitchin' though. I do want to move... Like, ideally what I would like to do one day is I want to go to uh, Switzerland. Switzerland is my dream country to live in. And... For many reasons. I mean... If I, if I really need a fucking good toke or whatever, I can go north to Amsterdam. I can go, you know, west to, um, to France or Britain for fucking food. Or, I guess, east to Italy, because fuck yeah, Italian food. Germany, too, and the Autobahn runs through Switzerland. So if I want to drive stupidly fast, I can. I can go rent a car and just drive at insane speeds. And sorry player versus player, but that is the type of shit that I do not tolerate at all in the channel, so you will be blocked. There's very little that I actually don't tolerate in the channel. That is one of them. Honestly, to be fair, <laughs> not even to be fair, but like just to be like straight honest, I would much rather fight with North Korea than with Russia. North Korea, like, don't get me wrong, they're scary, but they're not as scary as Russia. Russia has a history of not having people come into their country and fuck shit up. Like, you can fuck them up outside of their country, but as soon as you get into that shit, oh my god, that is not a place you want to be at. Come on, guys. Get out of your vehicles. Get out of your vehicles. There you go. That guy was shitting his pants when he was about to fall off there. Damn, hello. Decent amount of stuff here too.
Well, and like honestly, there's there's exceptions to the rule as well. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to talk about XP Gamer, like it doesn't have to be a famous channel. Like Obsidian Ant, not a famous channel. If you want to recommend something like that for you know tutorial uses or something along those lines, by all means, I have no qualms with that. But coming into somebody else's channel and the first thing you fucking say is, can you sub to me, goes to show that your content is probably not good enough to actually be watched. I apologize to anybody where your content might actually be good enough, but seriously, like, I get wanting to grow, but you gotta let it grow naturally. You can't just fuck it. It's the same thing with the sub for sub. I mean, I look, I've paid attention to some of that shit, and sub for sub will get you subs, but it doesn't get you views. Um, you know, like, I've seen people with 2,000 subs that pull the sub for sub shit, but their videos get about 100 views. And that, that comparison just goes to show that people are not subbing to you because they're interested in your content. They're subbing to you because they hope that they're going to get a sub out of it as well. And yeah, it's, it's not the way that I would like to grow personally, especially with the sub for sub thing. Because I have a feeling that if I'm subbing for subbing, there's people that are going to be subbing specifically to get the sub. They're not watching the content. And, I mean, I'd rather be a small channel and have an inclusive channel where everybody is communicating and enjoying themselves rather than have a community where everybody is never around because they're all trying to do their own thing. But I'm glad you guys appreciate my opinion on the matter and agree with me as a, as yeah, because yeah. <sighs> Damn Ruskies tried to invade Finland in the Second World War. Damn Ruskies invaded a lot of places, but, uh... Yeah, just like, historically speaking, fighting the Russians doesn't end well. Wait, why can I not... How do I? How do... I don't... How do I fucking resuppress a place? Um... I... Sincerely don't remember. How do I resuppress resupp somewhere? It says I can do it. I'm done that fucking part of things. Hmm. Sounds good, face. But yeah, um, any of you guys remember how to do that part? I, I fucking sincerely don't. But yeah, peace out, Faze, and I'll see you hopefully in a while. Hmm. I have everything, like, unfiltered. Go to a town and then give you an option. Find a base. Oh, so we have to, like, resuppress the whole area. Um. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. It was because I had my filter still, like, when I filtered it out, it's kind of, like, counted it still. I don't know. It was weird. That would be my best guess. We'll do... Santa Leon transmitter, though. Sima Leon. That would be a good one to rip apart with just a grapple hook. We'll feel quite accomplished by taking that place out. At least I will. Reoppress it. I feel really, really bad in that sense because, uh, what up, though, the torn purple monkey? Welcome to the stream slash chat. We use their frozen bodies as road signs, too. <laughs> the stream, the stream will probably end about. I'll, I'll finish this base up and then I'll end this stream and I'll be moving over to. Assassin's Creed 4 for tonight. I'm gonna give a uh, night's break on the Ghost Recon Wildlands Fallen Ghost DLC because I do need to do a little bit of playing during the day and get more accustomed to the game again because that DLC is quite difficult. Quite difficult indeed. So, that's my plan for tonight. We do still have until I tear this bitch down though. Two. 
Hold it! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, you gotta love it when that shit happens. Dispatch, Woo. sending ground reinforcements Woo. to your position. Woo. Understood. We are providing additional manpower at your location. How far can I rip yet? Oh! Hello. Probably take two for this one. Wouldn't be surprised. Never mind. Fuck, the tether upgrade is just so good. Just go for a trip. Oh, I bounced him off of that. That was brutal. Come on, there we go. I was curious how that one was gonna go. I've never actually ripped a base apart entirely with the grapple hook before. Like, never. Hmm. Damn, it even worked with one. Fucking impressive. Oh, tank. Right, I did remember her saying something about tanks coming in. No! Oh, that fucking, that was pretty slick. Come on. Hello. Hello, big gas tank. How are you today? Gonna be doing better when I rip you off your fucking mouth. Sounds good, dude. Wait. Oh, they killed it themselves. I don't know if that counts, though. That better still fucking count. Now we just have Doppler radar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pull up. <laughs> no, I'm playing on PS4, bro. a tactical response team at your position. You totally can, though. It's, uh, it's just a challenge. It's one of the achievement things you can get, actually. Come on. Come on. Ah. Just trying to get that a little bit earlier. So it wouldn't be quite so fucking ridiculous, but... Ah, I can't use it. Board. I can't fucking Find use it. Find the target as soon as possible. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Conquered. 
yeah, I, like, I'm not 100% sure the achievement will count that. I don't think it is. That is horseshit. I shouldn't have to worry about fucking... Wow. Oh, no, there we go. Without bullets, it finally popped up. Woo! Damn, we got her. All right, well, that was a pretty explosive and successful end to this stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and this series. Might do one more episode for Easter eggs and more challenges and the like, and potentially more oppressed base fucking attacks and stuff like that. But, uh, like I said, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, do that solid. Hit the like button, leave a comment, your thoughts, critiques, criticisms, what kind of games you'd like to see featured on the channel, and how you found the channel in the first place. Leave a sub if you haven't already, a follow if you're watching on the PlayStation, and as always, hit that share button to help spread the word of Kush Coffee and games, so we can continue to grow this nice little community as a whole. Thanks for watching, and peace out, guys. I'll see you anywhere between 15 and half an hour from now, where we will be moving on to Assassin's Creed 4 for tonight. And then, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I might do some Fallen Ghosts, but I probably won't tonight. Tomorrow, though, we will be getting back into the um, Ghost Recon Wildlands Fallen Ghosts DLC. So, look forward to that as well. And uh, for anybody that's a sub out there, um, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen is coming. If you have your subs set to pro or public so that I can see that you're a sub, and or if you want to be in it, uh, very soon I'll be posting, well, when the game comes out or whenever we get an idea of what the customization looks like, we'll be posting a video and you guys will be able to pick whatever kind of options you want for your character, and your character will be in the character pool for XCOM 2. No guarantees that it'll show up. But you could be a VIP, you could be a scientist, you could be an engineer, you could be a soldier, you could be the fucking hero of the game, who knows. But regardless, I hope to see you guys over there, and yeah. Peace out, thanks for watching, see you soon.